Uh, How much was he supposed to pay you? His charge was fifteen hundred for the band. My charge was uh, nine hundred dollars for staging, sound, and lighting. Did you discuss that with the defendant? Yes, in advance. When he first contacted me on the nineteenth of what? Nineteenth of September. I'm sorry, uh, four days or five days before the event. So it was very last minute. He contacted me when he told me he was associated with Mr. Payne. I'd worked with uh, Brent in the past, and I thought, okay, he's above board. So I gave him a great deal, and we. Well, made what it, was the great deal? Um, no, not, I'm asking you. I'm sorry. Mostly, you clearly weren't busy four days in That's advance. True. So, what was the great deal? I thought from reading these papers that this was really you were doing it partially for charity and partially for him. So, what's your normal rate? To yeah, set for up? something like this event, for all the equipment would have been close to three thousand for staging, sound, lighting, for an and event did like you, that. And did you actually do all the staging? all the lighting, as if there were going to be 350 people. Everything as scheduled. And you, sir, tell me about your discussion with the defendant about money. The early part of 2016, he had come to me to ask if I would be interested in doing a benefit concert for the... How many people in your band? Six. So you were actually making a couple hundred dollars a piece for the evening? Yes, ma'am. Did you set the figure of 1,500, or did he? No, I did. He asked me what I would do it for, and I said 15. And what did he say to you? He said, really? He said, really? Yes. And then what happened? Then we started talking about, uh, he asked me, well, what would this, what would it take? What would, uh, what would the next steps be? What do you need? And uh, I said, well, we need a venue. And he told me about the Corona Depot. And I said, well, how many does it hold? And he said, between two and 300. And I said, well, that'd be a good intimate crowd if we could get that many people in there. And then I told him about stage lighting, uh, sound reinforcement. But he didn't do anything about that until four days before. Did you discuss that with him? At that time? No, later on, as you got closer. You said the beginning of 2016. It was mentioned throughout the, the course of the well, few months. Why did you wait until the end to get somebody to do this lighting and sound? Your Honor, uh, it wasn't mentioned early. It was mentioned a week before. When we had the flyers made, and I have one here, it shows that there's only two bands. I was doing this as best I could, and I had one band scheduled with Brent, and as he saw the flyer, and he was like, uh, I always play in front of two bands. He goes, you have to have an get another band. So at the same time, uh, he also said, hey, and uh, how's the staging coming? How's the lighting? I'm like, I don't have any of that. I go, everything else is done, but you want an extra band? He goes, yes. He goes, I always play in front of two bands. So I started scrambling around to try to find another band in less than five days, and then I also had to scramble around and find a staging because the other bands didn't need uh, lighting. They didn't need staging. It was a benefit concert. They were happy to play on the open ground that they I had. I don't know what they were happy to do, sir. You owe them so far $2,400. Correct. So why didn't you pay them? because I was depending on the, the benefit concert for the people showing up. I was using the proceeds to pay everybody. Yeah, but that was not part of your discussion with them. Yes, they knew that. No, don't tell me what they knew. I didn't hear that that was part of the discussion.